So yesterday we arrived here at La Muerta. We went here. This is the petroglyph. And we went there. We arrived here. This morning we went here to watch the sunrise. And today we're doing something like this. Maybe a little bit of this. And then coming back. Wow. Hola, familia y humanidad. Hello, family humanity. Salut, la famille. Your brother Wallace. And now on top of the pyramid, El Mono. And we are about to see the sun arriving. I don't know what time it is. Let me check here. Can I see it? Let's see. 5.45. So in around 30 minutes, we will see the beautiful sun. This over there is La Danta the biggest pyramid in the world in volume 2.8 million cubic meters of volume this is 200,000 cubic meters more than the Great Pyramid of Pisa just to give you an idea how big this is here it is Welcome to El Tigre. This is a massive monumental piece of architecture. If you see over here, under in post, is a picture of Plaza Central in Tikal. And this is temple number one, temple number two, and the North Acropolis that fit at the very base of El Tigre Pyramid right here. So, you can have an idea of how massive this is. Uh, regarding what we spoke in yesterday, the triadic subject is a representation, as I said before, of the most eastern star from uh, Orion's belt, which is named Alnitak, and she makes a triangle with Saif and Raijo 
leaving two nebulas in the center. And the place was so sacred for them because they believe these three stones were placed there by the moon, by the sun, and by the jawar to light up the sacred fire that it was to honor the gods of 13 hearts of the sky. And because of that, it is so important to them on the pre-classical period that they represented the Oship Kuhul right on the Triadic summits. Mm. After we come down, we're going to go and check uh, Structure 34. And also, we're going to speak a little bit about the myth of creation. Because the myth of creation is going to explain to us why they change from having three buildings on top of Danta to become seven. And how in the year 150 after the invasion of the Teotihuacans for the first time, they standardized the writing, the math, and the myth of creation through the whole area from Teotihuacan down to the Mayan land. So we're going to climb. Vamonos, amigos. Well, I think I, I can wait here until you guys come back down again. <laughs> no, 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 you're going, Ricky. <laughs> you <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Welcome to the Triadic Summit of El Tigre. You can see part of the masks and hieroglyphs that were flanking uh, one of the oh, twin yes. pyramids that flank the Triadic Plaza. Right here, what we're looking at is the second inner layer of this will be like the pre last constructive stage. Mm. of the building. Wow. Ooh, Ricky already started the what he's supposed to do tonight. <laughs> Ricky is <laughs> training for the what you call it? The Then I want you to stand here and look out that way and then that way and you can see you come up here yep. gotcha. and you can see how there is causeways that part of different blocks where people used to live mm, see. then you can see wow. the causeway that is going straight up right there yep towards the agricultural terrace over there and you can see how it parts right here you see yep in the middle right there that's agricultural terrace also oh that that was gigantic oh yes sir <laughs> eso eso es una eso es una plataforma agricultural igual allá arriba es otra plataforma igual allá over there Danta. And way out there, that's that pit. Ah, okay, so Danta, 
and then going to the right this is next wow right there oh, it looks like it's right across that's monkeys that's la muerta over there monkeys la muerta wow Here we can see how the metates or stone hands to grind corn develop through time. We start with this, which is way on the pre-classic and you can see they're big and thick and they go developing into something smaller till we get to the second occupation, which is quite thin mm -hmm. and more portable. And these are to make corn offerings in an important plaza, which was a triadic of Tigre. Always, always making uh, offerings of corn to Yumkash, the god of corn. Just to show how grateful they were. Now, and this is the structure 34. All right. Going to structure 34. Their voice. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Structure 34. This is uh, Jaguar's Firefall. And we're going to see here how the Mayas believed that at night the king was transformed into a Jaguar to go play ball matches in the underworld at Shivalba with the Lords of 13 Hearts of the Sky. This is a building that it was constructed more or less in 480 and uh, it's got two giant masks again and again we're gonna see another triadic summit and on this building we're going to appreciate how it was believed by the old school that the roots of the trees were invading the structures now the new school prays that the roots of the trees are the ones holding the structures because they're so rooted in that if we take it, we strike them out, we're going to ruin the buildings. That's why we need the experts on the roots to get here so they can help us restore the buildings. Beautiful. This is uh, an idealization of more or less how the building should look like. This is uh, the first clear example of uh, the water collecting system that we're going to see that dates from pre-classic era into post-classic. Uh, because it's present all the way to Gumarca and Iximche. And one of the features is the dripping ledge that helps out the building not to splash the liquid, but to drip on itself. And then when it reaches 
the channels on the main plazas and the streets goes straight into the water collecting system that takes it to the water reservoir. Once it, get, once it gets to the water reservoir and it reaches its level, it's got an overflow valve that it will take it to a lower platform and so on until it reaches the marshlands. They were really great managing their hydraulic resource. Also, we can appreciate here an internal mask from a previous constructive stage that is located inside the tunnel located over there. Because of conservation reasons, because of oxidation of the limestone with the air, we keep it closed. Now we're gonna climb to the triadic summit. This original step Yes, of course, it's very difficult to the So here we have restoration. Yeah, of course. For sure. But protect the original. Yep. It's gorgeous. on the ear flare right here yep. and we can see how in the morning they represented the king transforming himself into a human from the jaguar form look right here is yep. the lower maxillar with the human teeth yep here is the water mustache that turns him holy once he's holy three times wow because of the water mustache uh -huh. right there because of the fire, uh, the fire bolts there. Yep. And because of the ear flares. The ear flares represented the flower of Seiba Pentandra, which is the Kapok tree, and that was the wisdom tree for the Maya. The Maya believed that the wisdom tree connected Shibalba, the underworld, with 13 hearts of the sky, which was the mm. super world, and our world together. Oh. Here on this side, we can see there is no restoration, and we can appreciate right here original stucco with details in red, black, and white. Wow. Original stucco on the ear flare over there, too, along with the red thing. we can see on the stairs is because the archaeologists want to know how long it takes the limestone to deteriorate so in a, it's an experiment also it's, a, it's, a, it's literally an experiment yeah. that's why you see that the other ear flare over here it's got a lead right there uh-huh so they can see how deep the oxidation is is getting every year and they left one exposed yep. out here to the elements yep. to see how fast it deteriorates it's really interesting there's one question that come to my mind because uh making st stucco they say limestone then burned with wood then you have the you put it in water you have powder and then you remix it with uh, water and then you have your stucco. No, you still you still have to add certain type of clay. Okay, it. so that's what that's where I was going. The different recipe. The, the, the formula, we don't have it yet. That's why I'm like, they may they might be doing tests. They're, they're, they're testing one, two, three. Okay, because they don't know the recipe of the Maya. Exactly. Yeah. It's, and it is hard to know if, if you chemically analyze the stucco yep. it's easy because we can tell you what's in there yep. but then the question comes in the picture how did they obtain it <laughs> from where for example the the pigment uh, the turquoise pigment that yep. they use for the for the kings mm -hmm. that's turquoise color man and that's a mineral that is not found in guatemala nowhere nearby 
you have to import it from the middle America in the US. Whoa. So somebody had to walk all the way from the, let's say, uh, middle of uh, whatever, yeah. the States. Let's say New Mexico, which is close to Mexico, or you mean uh, uh, no, no, closer farther, to the center of the States? Farther to the like center Colorado of the States. Or? No, most likely like Montana. Okay, yeah. Those states in the like, the, um, like the center of the continent. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that comes all the way from there, down to to the Mayan kingdom. So we think that's why that's what one of their biggest achievements, the trade on long distances, because you can find jade and obsidian. And also uh, uh, ceramic, codex ceramic from Nakbe all the way up to Mexico. Mm. We haven't found structures yet in the states that relate to the Mayas, but we know the mineral comes from there. Okay. Now we're gonna head down to the rattlesnake complex. Vamos. 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 On y va. On y va. Comment qu'on dit on y va en créole? Lego. 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 And in Hindi? Chalou. 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 Or is the monkeys and we just went in here. And we climbed to the top of Tigre. And then we came down and we popped out on structure 34 right here. Then we looped around and we're back right here again. Now we're gonna go and loop all the way around to see how big is the extent of the complex Tigre. Then we're gonna head down to the rattlesnake complex and we're gonna come through uh, the lion complex to see the astronomical plaza for the inner city and we're gonna check out the stellas for the afternoon we're going to leave the visit to the sunken plaza and also the the quips com uh, sorry the tecolote complex the tecolote pyramid which was believed to be the residential area of the king wow. 